you know, sometimes it takes a village to come up with a brilliant patch. And this is one such case. The initial idea came from my friend and colleague in modular mayhem, Dr. Adam Hulbert, who is the sonic arts convener at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. And we uh, Skype every fortnight and explore modular. Uh, this time we were looking at the 245T sequential voltage source. And uh, he came up with a great idea, which I'm going to unfold in a moment. But just to orient you, the sounds you'll be hearing are coming from two dual oscillators that are cross-modulated, going into individual low-pass gates. They're coming out, uh, one and two is coming out on the left, three and four on the right. They're being uh, activated from the function generator, and the function generator is being activated by pulse outs on the sequential voltage source one, two, um, four, and five. And Adam went, well, what if we do sort of a feedback thing here, since these are all outputs and analog is an input, if you set all of row A at noon, the potentiometers, come out here and go in here, it defaults to three. And uh, then three becomes a selector. As I turn it to the left, it'll select two and one, and to the right, four and five. So my initial thought was to get somehow control voltage going in here. Uh, I was thinking of coming out of reference and going into here, but that's an output into an output. And pass this by Gurr, uh, Milstein at tip top, and he goes, well, just take that first row and go into your voltage processor. 257T, come out of there and go into analog. And now we'll get the exact same behavior. This uh, center pot is reading just VB, the input, so. And now the beauty of this is I can use the pulser, which is going, but we can't hear it, come out of reference go into VC, and now as I crossfade between these positions and that pulse, we get new patterns. And as we change these uh, pots on row A, we also get different variations. So, of course, the only thing left, or not the only thing, one thing, there's many things left, but uh, the next logical thing is instead of me doing this with my hand, we could use uh, CV to do that. We could come, like, for instance, random. I'll put these back at uh, noon. And now come out of some random voltage and go into the crossfade.
Or we could use another one of these rows to do that same sort of thing and have a little more control over it. Okay, hopefully uh, that's clear and have fun exploring this. There's, you know, more options. We could go to tempo or time interval here. Uh, we could go to also add an CV input there, see what happens. Uh, the pulsar could be driving yet another uh, function generator, if I had one in here. Uh, and we could be listening to what's happening, you know, being triggered by three as well. Okay, have fun.